We've got leaked images of a female Iron Man character that will be in Avengers 4. Who is this character and what does it mean for that movie? Well, we are breaking all of that down. This is the Nerdy News Rundown. Let's get you filled in. Before we get too far into this, I want to shout out Reverse Flash, who got the nerd card question correct in my news video from yesterday. You definitely know your stuff when it comes to DC, so shout out to you, Reverse Flash. We will, of course, do another nerd card question at the end of this video. Oh, and one more thing to regular viewers, I listened to a lot of the comments on the video yesterday. It seems like most people are okay with multiple topics per news show, so that's what I'm gonna do for the time being. Maybe not on every video, but I will do my part to try to move quickly from the non-main story to eventually the big story at the end of the video. If there's a big outcry, I'll stop doing that, but for now, that's the way we're gonna go. So let's get into this. The first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is more of this Netflix Marvel show drama that we've all been embroiled in lately. We obviously know that Luke Cage and Iron Fist were canceled. I mean, that was a big deal. People talked about it. We did a live stream here where we tied a but since then, there's been a lot of questions like why did Netflix decide to cancel these shows? What is the future of the other shows that have not yet been canceled on Netflix? And is this having to do with the Disney streaming service? Is Disney taking back these characters? What exactly is going on? Well, in a line with all this craziness, there was a great article put out there. I believe it originated on The Hollywood Reporter. I read it on The Hollywood Reporter, but this could be referring to a different article somewhere else, but it all has to do with declining social media interest when it comes to these shows. Now, you should check out this article to get the exact numbers, but I am telling you guys, it is a crazy disparity. From the beginning of Luke Cage season one to the hype that was built around it for season two, it is like so far off, it's not even funny. Same thing with Iron Fist, the interest on social media for Iron Iron Fist does nothing but go down as the Netflix stories continue with these Marvel characters. I also saw it recently talked about the fact that Netflix with these characters has to pay the stars of these shows more and more every time a new season comes out and so think about it if the interest is declining out there it's not as valuable to netflix anymore and they have to continuously spend more and more money on these shows i guess it just makes sense for them to cancel it now a lot of people are talking about the fact that marvel is likely to not give netflix any new licenses and so netflix is in a weird spot as they try to expand their canon with the shows that they've done over there. Now, I think that's probably true, but I think at the end of the day, the reason these shows are being canceled is because the interest for them is declining and the cost for them is going up. It's just simple business. But either way, that article is fascinating. I wanted to bring it to your attention. Have you read it already? Uh, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section if you have checked that thing out. I found it very interesting. Next thing I wanna to touch on quickly, there was a very crazy Star Wars story that came out yesterday. A lot of people were talking about this leaked set photo from Star Wars Episode Nine. I read about this on StarWarsNewsNet.com, a great Star Wars website. They were breaking down different aspects, believing that the main statue of this photograph might indeed be that of Padme Amidala. There was also some symbols on the floor of this set photograph that seemed very similar to the world between worlds from Star Wars Rebels. There was a lot of cool hype around this photograph, but it didn't matter. The photograph was fake. This photo does not come from the set of Star Wars Episode 9. It is actually from a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and someone cleverly leaked it on Reddit saying that it was from Star Wars Episode 9. So if you saw some of those articles yesterday, I mean, they're all inaccurate. Of course, there was likely reported as a rumor on these sites, so, you know, not a super big deal, but it has been deep debunked. That photograph is not from Star Wars Episode 9. Uh, I'll be honest, they got me on this. I was pretty hyped about it. I was actually writing a video about it because I really liked the reference to the world between worlds. I think that's something going on with Ben and Rey in Star Wars Episode 9. But alas, it was all fake. Let me know, did you get bamboozled by that story or did you kind of brush it off as rumors right away? Whatever you're thinking about that story, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get into the meat and the potatoes of this video, guys. Holy crap, we got a leaked photograph of Gwyneth Paltrow in an Iron Man-esque set of armor 
on the set of Avengers 4. It's legit, it's totally real, she's actually in this armor, and uh, it coincides with a couple of other things we've seen leaked. There was a toy leak, which, while not giving us much, did have a smudged out character that had the similar body type of this and a similar color scheme, so we think it's pretty stinking official. And it's actually not the first time we've seen the Pepper Potts character in a Iron Man set of armor. In Iron Man 3, she of course gets a set sort of grafted onto her, during a crazy fight or explosions at the Tony Stark household. And uh, yeah, so she gets all of that armor on her. She's able to use it halfway decently. And yeah, this is something that's in the comics as well. She is called Rescue. This is the rescue armor. And at certain points in the comic books, this Pepper Potts character is very adept at using this armor as well. Now, when we look at this set from the leaked images and just speculate about what kind of a role she'll have in the film, it's pretty safe to say this will be a much larger role than the armor just coming onto her for one scene like it did in Iron Man 3. I mean, not only does this set look like it's form-fitting, it looks specific to Pepper with its own kind of color scheme, but we have seen photographs on Gwyneth Paltrow's social media of her in a motion capture suit waiting to go onto the set of Avengers 4. So she's gonna be in action, she's gonna be using this suit. I think that is terrific. I think it's gonna be very, very dope. Now there are a couple of theories about how this will take place. Right now, a big part of the fandom believes there will be a time gap between the end of Avengers Infinity War and the beginning of Avengers 4. A lot of the rumors are circulating around a five year time period. And so we would come in on Earth with all of our heroes sort of scattered to the wind. The Earth itself has learned to exist in the subsequent five years with half of its population gone, but it's obviously still a very dark time on the planet. So if that is the case, it is very possible Tony builds this armor for Pepper. Pepper, of course, knowing how bad things are, starts to train, she, Tony teaches her, and she becomes pretty adept with the suit and we get to see her in action on our Earth in our universe. Now, conversely, there's another option for this where if the Avengers are messing around with the quantum realm and going to see different universes, different versions of events that have taken place in the MCU that we know, it is very possible we come to a world in which Tony Stark perhaps died, Pepper Potts takes on that role and becomes the Iron Man or the Iron Woman of that universe. I'd actually prefer that option because I want to not only have this just crazy badass version of Rescue with the Pepper Potts character, but it would be very interesting for the Tony Stark of our universe to interact with that Pepper Potts, especially if that Pepper Potts from the other universe has lost Tony. That would be a very interesting sort of universal um, love triangle sort of a thing. I'd be into that. I'd be really into that. There's also a distinct possibility that Marvel is teasing something to fans that they will later enact with a different female character. A lot of people think that Tony Stark is at the end of his days as Iron Man, and it's very possible that they will echo what happened in the comics and bring in a female Iron Man to take over the mantle. There was classically the Ironheart character in Marvel Comics recently, and that character's named Riri. There's a character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe named Shur who is very intelligent, seems to be on the level of Tony Stark. And so I would not be surprised if having the rescue armor in Avengers 4 and having Gwyneth Paltrow use that armor and be very active in it is sort of an appetizer of sorts for the Marvel fans for when they actually do an Iron Heart character, which would be a female Iron Man. Either way, we are full steam ahead getting ready for Avengers 4. Every morsel and detail that leaks out there, that it comes out there, is very, very hype. Fans love it. They want to talk about it. I want to talk about it with you guys. And so that's what we're doing here. That is the news, guys. We have leaked evidence that Gwyneth Paltrow will be donning her own set of Iron Man armor in Avengers 4. What do you think about this? Do you think it's our pepper? Do you think it's a pepper from a different universe? Do you think they're trying to set up something for a future Iron Heart appearance in the MCU? Whatever your thoughts are about this and any of the other stories, let me know in the comment section 
below. All right, let's check that nerd card really quickly. I want to know in the movie Iron Man 3, what was the name of the disease slash biochemical thing that was giving everyone the powers to fight against Iron Man in Iron Man 3? Pepper Parts gets some of this in her towards the end of the film as well. But what was the name of that virus slash biochemical thing that gave everybody powers in Iron Man 3? Answer that question in the comment section below. And that will do it for the third Thursday show. I hope your week is chugging along at a good pace. Hope you found some time to do some nerdy things for, for you. Had some enjoyment out there and I hope that uh, the news over here is keeping you informed. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day and I will see you in the next video. For reals though, I'll, I'll see you there. Bye.